You know what? I think we can probably take him, so let's declare war and claim Stone Dance. Let's do this. Um, looks like we might actually get reinforcements from Dawn in this war as well. Because <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, I kind of clicked off it quickly, but... Um, because you're, we're married to the Lady Paramount of the... Uh, the Princess of Dawn, I guess. Um, she is more than willing to help us. Which is promising. Now, naturally, no uh, no war would be complete without spending the first 5-10 minutes ferrying troops to the correct province. For now, what we're going to do is ferry our main force onto uh, Sharp Point, just so that the Stone Dance levies don't... Um... Oh, excellent. Okay, so Ariane's joining us in our war, so we will have the entire armies of Dawn on our side against Stone Dance. Uh, so not a bad deal there. But as I was saying, we're moving our troops onto Sharp Point just so that we have, uh, we don't give him an incentive to attack our province or the levies that were there. I can't imagine this war lasting particularly long, in fact, so hopefully, very soon, Stone Dance will once again be under our control. Uh, preferably before Robert has a chance to, uh, tell us to end our war which I have an inkling he might be inclined to do. So there's the majority of our forces there. Um, we have about twice as many men. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay, so King Robert is dead. He's just passed away. He di <laughs> died of gonorrhea. So, on the plus side, I certainly outlived him. Um, so his son, Quentin, I believe, the legitimized bastard will be the king. I'm going to have to send Stannis to educate with someone else because I sent him to Robert to try and win favor, favor with him. Um, so I'll send him with the Septon, who's intelligent. I realize he hates me, but... Well, that might come back to bite me. But you know what? We're not going to pay attention to that right now. So yes, Quentin the legitimized bastard is the king of the Iron Throne now. I have a heavy suspicion that given how unloved Robert was, like how many rebellions there were against him, and the fact that he was monarch for ages and now there's this new upstart who was previously a bastard. Yeah, Quentin right there. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like several rebellions against him. I'm glad that Quentin doesn't hold so much of a grudge against me plot for plotting to kill him now. That would have been uh, not particularly fortuitous given the uh, circumstances. And the Crown Loyalists faction is still going strong, so there can't be that much opposition to him at the moment. But mark my words, very rarely does a coronation not lead to several uh, wars. Right, so we're uh, battling them in Stone Dance now. We do have a disadvantage in terms of territory, but we do have twice their numbers on the other side of that. And it looks as though uh, we're going to more or less just uh, squash them. Ah. Yeah, fair few people leading the Crown Loyalists faction there. And there we go. Um, right, so we've got autonomous vassals throughout the realm now. Um, Stannis has become an even better commander than he already was, and we've won that battle as well. It is a good year. Excellent. All right, Stone Dance is ours. Uh, we got 100% war score from that battle. Sorry if I click around too fast. Um, and yeah, we've we've just claimed Stone Dance. Fantastic. Okay. Well, there we go. I'm, I'm pleased about that. It was a very brief war, wasn't it? Compared to the last one. Who knew acquiring territory could be so easy? But there we go. Stone Dance is now an extension of Dragonstone. Ah, so uh, Quentin Baratheon is now the anointed king. Uh, well, that's no good. So she's trying to prove me illegitimate, which is uh, not something I'm likely to allow. There we go. Oh, excellent. Stannis is a, is a good learner as well, which is handy because 
eventually I will be him in this game. It's a cool concept, I like it. Excellent. So, a slightly different to the push him over the parapets uh, brand of murder. It's it's kind of been redefined. Um, apparently, balconies are the other done thing now. So, hopefully, Commander Piers of the King's Guard will be thrown from a balcony sometime soon. And the reason, oh, excellent. There we go. And nobody knew I was behind it. Fantastic. All right. So he fell to the ground like a bag of rotten fruit. Is what the uh, description said. The, the reason why that was important, in case that's gotten lost along here, is the fact that, uh... Sorry, I'm just testing the water for a murder on the king. I get easily distracted in this game because there are so many facets to it. But the reason why I murdered Lord Commander Pierce is because he was trying to, uh, prove ev provide evidence of my treason to the king. Um... Which could have resulted in the arrest of Stannis and the seizure of his lands, if not, like, uh, me being forced into rebellion because he attempted to imprison me. Alright, so first she was trying to investigate my illegitimacy, now she wants to kill me and she's refusing to end her plot. Oh, Apparently I killed her husband in some battle or other. That's why she's angry. Uh, and it doesn't look like I can fight fire with fire and plot to kill her. Maybe I should arrest her. Except I can't arrest her. Oh, she's not from, uh... Yeah, she's not from my... She's a vassal of those guys, so she's actually in the Westerlands at the moment, I think, so... Not really anything I can do about it. Oh, well. Chances are she's not very cosy with any people in the territories that I control, so I doubt very much that her plot will gain much headway, and yeah, she probably won't succeed. It's fine. Let's not worry about that for now. I'm guessing that there's going to be some pretty big time jumps when it comes to editing this. You're not missing anything. It's not dull. Certainly not for me, but from a viewer's perspective, there's an awful lot not happening right now. I don't really have any major plays left to do with uh, Stannis number one. Just waiting for Ariane to die, really. Which I really wish she'd uh, get on with, but um, we could be waiting. We could be in for a wait. Oh, that's nice. Another person trying to kill me. I think that's actually trying to kill my son so that he won't inherit the Stormlands. And she's married to Quentin Martell, which kind of makes sense, but. Doesn't look as though I can plot to have her killed in turn, so I'm not sure what's going to come of this. I certainly don't want young Stannis to... Stannis Jr, that is. To, um... Before any ill to befall him. That's not what I want. Oh, and now someone else is trying to fabricate evidence of my treason. What does everyone have against me? Just realised that my Master of Whisperers isn't my biggest fan. So I'm just making absolutely certain, what with all these plots against me, that he's very much on my side. So we'll go to interactions and send him a gift. And that should do. I certainly feel somewhat safer. I wasn't really living by my own rule of um, having a master of whisperers that you can trust. Well, that's the uh, the air. To, to Stannis the first, Stannis the second, Junior, uh, Baratheon. Um, initial signs of promising, going by the mustache. One thing I feel as though I should point out, what with this being part, uh, whatever, probably, probably into double figures by now of the series. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but the year in the top right says. 8,311. Uh, you just have to ignore the 8. I think that was a problem that the modders encountered when they were, uh, when they were, well, modding, was that you couldn't not have four figures for the, for the year. So, uh, they just arbitrarily stuck an 8 in there. So if you ignore that, then the actual year is 312. Now. It was 311. 
I, I picked the wrong time to explain this. The year changed. I think the reason why I keep getting the random invites to plots to kill people who I don't even know is because I'm the king's brother. Yeah. Or actually Quentin's king now. Maybe I'll just ignore this section and edit it out. <laughs> 